That's right. The birdie song has uh, seen this in. Uh, welcome to frame 169, 100 off my favourite number. I love that 269. We're carrying on with the music. It's me one versus me two snooker. The basic premise of this is that me as me one plays me as me two at snooker to find out who's the best at playing snooker. Um, and uh, we're on frame one six nine. The score is currently eighty frames each. They haven't played against each other in every frame. There's been a couple of draws, hence the nine disparity there. Don't worry about that. We've thought of everything. Two eighteen breaks of eighteen in the last frame. If you count a black, a black and a red, a red is eighteen. Which the referee did, uh, and you know the referee's decision is final. Uh, but definitely one of eight, 18, even by uh, proper standards. Now I haven't fixed my glasses. Look, oh, I managed. There we go. They're still broken. But uh, it's my new gimmick. They fall apart. It's all good fun, isn't it? Um, I know a lot of you waiting for the uh, eight oh two football scores. But it's only 8.01. I should say that uh, Subashkaman Namwan, number Wang, his family got in touch to say they didn't like the way I said his name like it was a Mitchell and Webb sketch. Uh, and they are not allowing me to name the arena after them. Uh, Andy McH thought he could guess who I would choose this week and he's already got it locked in, he thinks. Oh, do you? Do, do you think you know? Um, oh, look, Andy McH also says total score since August 2020, me one, 2,968, me two, 2,964. It's very, very close. Uh, me one ahead. Um, that just seems like a lot of points since uh, 2020. I suppose that's three years. Um, he's added them all together, and that's what he's come up with. Uh, you could never guess who I'm going to name the arena after today. It is Lou Deprick. Uh, there's no way you guessed that and had that in the scoreboard already, is there, Andy McH? Prove me wrong. Um, Lou DePrick. How would anyone guess that I would choose him? Not only is his name DePrick, um, he also was the producer of Plastic Bertrand, who I love. Saint plan pour moi. There's more of it. There's more. He's not only the producer of he actually sang Saplan Pamwa. He was he sang all of the first four Plastic Bertrand records, and Plastic Bertrand managed to make it seem that he did it, and he sued him, and he was the real artist or something. I was reading just before now. He provided the single voice, which he recorded and sang for Plastic Bertrand, who remains generally credited with the song and was upheld legally in 2006 as being entitled to be called his artist. Plastic Bertrand, how could you let us down like that? And that when you were on summertime special with those those balloons falling on you. The plan for me, and I can tell you the plan for me, is to play snooker and be finished by 8.30 so I could go on a Zoom call with my wife about a local gig we're doing for charity. That's the kind of guys we are. Um, let's go straight to the 8.02 uh, football scores. It's 8.04. Um... Right, we're in the Champions League. Feyenoord, nil. Uh, Celtic, that was Scottish, nil. Uh, Lazio, Lazio, 20. Uh, at at, at Madrid, Z zero. 20 nil already. And that, that one starts at 8 o'clock, so that's an amazing score. And don't give you results. I can't give you the Newcastle score. PSG, the uh, who are just a handheld device. You play games on, nil. B Dortmund, that's just a bloke called Brian Dortmund, nil. I can't give you the young boys. That's a score. Man City. A lot of people like that. There's the city of men. And there are no women allowed in there. Does that make them good at football? Apparently it does. They're the best football team in the country because they don't allow women in their city. And I, I think it's sexist. But it obviously focuses the mind on football and nothing else. Unless their men are gay. In which case they're just thinking about each other's bums all the time. And that still works. Red Star Belgrade. I've got a brown star. They've got no. Uh, the big match, of course, is Oldham versus York, which uh, I'd already had a little peek at, and it's not looking good. Um, Group H, Barcelona, nil. Royal Antwerp, nil. Uh, I don't know where these people are from, so I can't do the accent. Shakhtar Donetsk, 
Uh, probably from Donetsk, but I don't know where that is. Nil. Uh, FC Porto. And now that's Portuguese accent. Championship. It's uh, the West Country. Battle of the West Country. Who would win? Bristol City or Plymouth? Well, at the moment, it's 2-0 to Bristol City and only 19 minutes played. Cardiff versus Coventry. It's the Battle of Wales versus the Midlands. 1-0 to Cardiff. Preston versus Birmingham. It's the Battle of North West versus Bur Midlands. 0-0. QPR versus Swansea. It's the Battle of West London versus West Wales. It's 0-1. Swansea are ahead. Southampton versus Ipswich. Battle of two, two of the shittest places in the country. 0-0. Uh, I, I, I spoke too soon. Sheffield Wednesday, 0. Middlesbrough, 0. Also, at least one of the shittest places. Uh, EFL Trophy. Morecambe, 0. Liverpool under 21, 3. That's a half-time score. Sutton United, 0. Aston Villa under 21, 1. Wickham, 0. Crystal Palace under 21, 0. That's half-time. Colchester, 0. Tottenham Hotspur. I'm guessing under 21. It doesn't say that, but I think it means it. 34 minutes, 1. Leighton Orient, 1. Fulham under 21, 1. Oxford United, 0. MK Dons, 0. Exeter, 0. I've just been there. It's flooded. I um, still managed to play. Uh, Reading, 2. Uh, Wigan 1, uh, Bristol Rovers 0, West Ham United 0, 17 minutes, Wigan 1, Leicester City under 21, 1, Derby 0, Lincoln City 0, Doncaster 0, Everton U21 0, Shrewsbury 0, Brighton Hove 0. Who cares about that? Why is that so high up? League 1, Barnsley 0, Portsmouth 2, uh, two putting two goals against the old Barnsley, Barnsley Barnsman, um, the Port Ma the Portsmouth Mouthers, two goals, Peterborough 0, that's just a bloke called Peterborough, uh, versus Cheltenham, that's uh, a woman called Hell, she calls herself Cheltenham, a nil, Port Vale nil, Burton one, that's Richard Burton, uh, into the National League, the most important league we have going, Altrincham nil, Hartlepool one, Barnet nil, Aldershot nil, Bournemouth nil, Rochdale nil, Chesterfield very start, off the flying start, one nil up against Halifax, they're the best team in the league, Dagnum nil, Bromley nil, Dorking one, Wealdstone nil, Eastley 1, Oxford City 0, Gateshead 1, Kidderminster 0, a lot of goals flying in, Old Oldham playing York, 1-0 to Oldham, what a fucking palaver, they're so shit Oldham, how can York be losing against them after winning 3-0 at the weekend, Solihull Moors, very good score team 0, Fylde, who are below York as well, 1, this is terrible news. Uh, South End, South End, below York nil, Maidenhead United nil, Woking nil, Ebbsfleet nil. There's a lot of scores of 1945 in the FA qualifying and 1930 in the Welsh League Cup and 120 nil in the Welsh League Cup. And I'm not gonna do it because I've got a life to fulfil. I've got a life to fulfil here, my friends. Let's just see if we can get you a more up to date score on York. It's still one nil after 21 minutes. Um. You know, I think we're going to let the snooker do the talking. <laughs> Some people just tune for the music, so, you know, you've got to give them that. So, the scores are currently 80-80. Me one won 78-34. Me one could go in the lead for the first time. I looked all through last week night to see when the last time was. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. It was at least 60 frames ago. Can me one do it? Let's go over to the man himself. He's just sitting down. What, do you think you can do it? I'm confident I can do it. I don't even think I can do it. I know I can do it and I am going to do it. And I'm going to do it by scoring more points on the old green board than old stinky me too with his farty anus. Well, that's very <laughs> unpleasant. There's fighting talk there from me one. But me too's just sitting down. Can you win it? Richard, uh, I started badly last week. I didn't play well last week, but uh, I'm, I've been, um, what's the word, meditating in my room up here in the attic where you keep me and uh, all week. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get back into a 10-frame lead within the next 10 weeks if we play every day for the next 10 weeks, which we probably won't, because let's face it. Let's face it, that won't happen. Good. Well, look, we're going to get straight onto the action because we've got limited time. So it's over to me one, me two, commentate one, sorry, commentate two in the um, Ludaprick. Ludaprick. <laughs> He's got a lewd, but it can't be his real name. Lewd prick. That can't be his real name. No, but we don't do the predictions anymore. That was, you know, it spoiled the fun that you knew what was going to come. And, uh, and no more predictions. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Dan. My prediction is that uh, I can't, I'm not allowed to predict because I could I could influence it subconsciously. Um, I remain neutral. Over to commentator one, commentator two. 
Hopefully their microphones are less peaky than last time we did some work on it. Let's find out. Richard, here I am. I mean, I'm commentator one. I'm joined by commentator two. Yeah. Didn't speak last week. Are you going to speak this week? Well, probably not. Not any more than this. Ah, well, if only you'd shown that graphic earlier, Andy McH, we would have known that uh, you'd already chosen the Luda prick. The referee one has set up uh, the board very well. Excuse me, I'm just going to do a guff. Oh, why have you done that in the commentary box? That is so out of order. I've got to sit next to you. Well, you know, it's when a man's... I've been eating a lot of beans. Why do you think I've lost all so much weight? Have you seen my gaunt face? Well, uh, no, no one's seen you because you're the commentator. Well, Richard's gaunt face. Look at him. He's, uh, he's eating a lot of chickpeas. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's lost uh, seven kilos or something. It's ridiculous. He lost two kilos while he was away, at least. Um, on to the old green board. It's me two to break, I think. No, it's me one to break. I've written me what me two there, but it is me one's turn. Frame one six nine, a hundred off my favourite number. I love that two six nine. Didn't Richard do that joke? No. Nope. Here we go. Me one on the hockey. It's a beautiful punt. Did anything go? One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. No, it didn't. It's a beautiful shot, though. They'll cue ball right down the end. There's going to have to be a plant from me two here. Oh, nearly does it. But he doesn't do it. And me one could take control again. As he did last week. Oh, lovely. Oh, I thought lovely, but actually slightly foolish play there from me one. He's potted the red and beautifully snookered himself behind the red. I would say this is almost an impossible shot. He's going to have to go for the black and not hit the red. He's hit the red. Me one gets one, but in gives away seven, and that could be that could be a crucial mistake for me one. Could give me two the frame. He's going for this red. I don't think he can hit it. I think he's going to hit the other red first. I was right. He's gone in off. If only you could hear this commentary, maybe he would have rethought that. So two mistakes, one ball potted. Calculating, calculating. Me one five. Me two seven. So oh, what am I doing? Why have I picked out a red? The referee's picked out the red rather than the... That's, that's how you do it. The referee one there makes a basic error. Picks out the red. Confusing. Me one. The only person to have potted a ball legally. Ooh, nearly, nearly sneaks it in there. Me two. Surely you can get this. Oh no, again a red gets in the way. Me one. Got to do a plant. Oh, it jingled and jangled. Oh, what a shot. Did you see that? I didn't. I thought he missed it, but he played a brilliant trick shot where they had bred, the second red ball came in and knocked the first one in. So me one, can he get ahead here? He's hit that bit gently. Yes. Oh, what a shame. Me one jumps up to six points, but me two surely can overcome his curse to now. Oh, he can't. He's got to, he's got to do a plant as well. He's planted and it hasn't worked. Me one. Me two really in terrible form at the moment. Me one tries to plant, misses as well. I mean, he's not in much better form. Me two. Can he do it? Can he pot a ball? Oh, he dances round the edge of the pocket there. Oh, like the bloke from News Round on Strictly Come Dancing. Me one. Oh, he's hit it hard. He's hit it straight, but straight, not into the pocket. Me too. He can't really see what to do here. Look at him vacillate. He's going to come off the top and do that. Why? I don't know why, but why not? Me one. Can he double? Tries a double. Misses. Misses. Me two. Can he get a ball in? No. Oh. And me one has been playing the waiting game, and I think this is what he was waiting for. The easiest red on the board, and he's got the red. What's he going to go for now? He can't go for the green. Can he get this yellow into the top? Of course he can. He's me one. He's unstoppable. He takes the lead after his unfortunate error. Although the red ball, no, the red ball, he's, he's got a red ball on here. Not a red ball. Oh, just a little too straight. But a beautiful break of three. Highest break of the frame so far. Takes me one to nine. Calculating, calculating. Me one, nine. Me two. Calculating, seven. Me one, me two. With only is the seven he got from the foul. He misses again. He really is letting his fans down in hospital here. Me one. 
Oh, that was too gentle. I can tell you that's, that wasn't hard enough. Me too. That was overcut. Me too nearly pots the green. Me one. Just has a little crack, see what happens. Nothing happens. Me too. Can he get this shot in? No. Cursed. Me one is not cursed and me one does a beautiful pot. Pot's a beautiful red. Can he pot an amazing blue? Not like that. That was, I don't even know what pocket he was aiming for there, but again, sneaking further into the lead. If it stays 10-7 till the end, me one will be ahead. He's, so, he's ahead at the moment for the first time. Me too has a lot to do here, a lot of work. He's potted a ball, he's potted a ball. This could be the turnaround the Me Too fans have been waiting for. Can he pot two balls? This would be an incredible shot into the top corner. Oh, thought he'd done it for a sec. Me too. First bona fide point of the frame. He's two points behind Me One, it's close. Don't give up hope, Me Too fans. Don't get cocky, Me One fans, Me One. Just has a just has a punt, and has it worked? No. Me too. Can he just have a punt? No, just cut that again. Too fine. Me one. Me one hits the red into the black. Me too. Oh, he goes in off. That is not what he wanted to do there. What he wanted to do was pop the red. He's gone in off, and it's looking like. It's me one's night, I have to say. It's looking like the champagne is on ice for me one. Me one tries a double, messes it up. Me two has a lovely straight shot. This could be could clear from here. He misses it, jingles and jangles. Me one tries for the centre pocket, hits the post. Me two trying for the centre pocket. He pots, he pots, and he's right on the green. I think he's going to get his highest break of the frame. And then if he plays this right, he could get on the next red. Oh, thought for a second he wasn't going to get that. And I don't think he's in a good position to get this red. Just a little bit too far, but it could work. Oh, and he's right up there on the blue. Well, four points for me too. And he's made a good game of it. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 14. Me two, 12. Me one. He's trying for the centre pocket and dances around like that bloke. What's his face from news round? Me too. Oh, me too is back, my friend. That's the me too we know and love. He's looking at the yellow, but he's seen the blue. It's worth more points. That's the me too we know and love. What a shot. What a shit. What a shot. That's what they, that's what they say about me too. He's a shit, but what a shot. And can he make it a three ball break? Oh, hits the post. Hits the post, but a break of six for me too. And suddenly this frame is turned upside down. 14, 18, me one. He's looking a little nervous. Yeah, that was a nervy shot. Ooh. Nearly, nearly got the lucky one there. Me too. Oh, he th I don't think he thought he could got that. He hit it a bit hard. He might've got that in. Me one. He needs this. This is a battle of the titans. Oh, me one, what a fuck up. What a fucking cunt. Me too. Oh, what a fuck up. Two double cunts, me one. Me one is no longer a cunt, he's potted. So I apologise if there are any youngsters listening for this language, it's unnecessary. Me one. Me one. Oh, that's the shot of the match. You can't beat that. Pots the blue, sets up the red. Beautiful shot. Break a six already for me one. This could be a clear in the top. Oh. oh, I think he was so intent on getting on the black, which he doesn't really do either. But me one, the big news is me one's ahead again in this contest. Calculating, calculating, me one, 20, me two, calculating, 18. And me two has a good shot at getting one point, point closer. He's got it. Can he get ahead? Me two needs this to be in the lead. It's a beautiful long black. Oh, close. Close as a nut. One point between these two. Me one is snookered. Gets out the snooker with an adept skill. Me two. Oh! I wish, you, I wish I could describe what I just saw, but I can't. Me one. Me one. Splacking the balls around. Splacking them.
Me Too has one of the easiest shots I've ever seen in the whole history of Me One versus Me Too snooker, and he takes it. This is going to be crucial for Me Too. Can he get this pink? Oh, what a no! Oh, it jumped out of the pocket like a salmon jumping out of the river, being caught by Bob Mortimer and then let go again. But Me Too has done something incredible, created what I would say is almost impossible snooker to get out of. Me One feels he can see a way through. Oh, he's very wrong. It's called as a miss. He has to have another go. Where was it about there? And then it wasn't because he can get it from here now. Oh, that was close though. So eight points to me too. Me too's go. Oh, me too puts the pink. Looked like he was running away with it, but now me one is running back towards him and grabbing it and taking it a bit further away. Me one. If he gets this, it's even Stevens. He's trying to double it. I don't know where to. Triple it, double it, triple it. Me too. This is, you can feel the tension in the room. Me too. Not up to the tension. Me one cannot pop this yellow. Sends it scurrying down the table like a small rat. Me took me too. I think it's me two's go. That's what the referee has decided. Me one. I'm not even looking at it. Oh. Me too. Oh, it might be a safety shot for the first time. He's messed it up. Me one could score here. Me one has scored. One, two points to me two. Me one. Whew. He can't get this green. Oh, he tries hard. He tries as hard as a, something that's hard and difficult in a difficult way. Me too has to come off the old green board sideways. He does it. Beautiful. And always gets a snooker, but me one. Playing the game of chess. Look at that. Is this, this is what me one does. Oh, not very well there. Potted the green back in the lead, but fucks up the brown. Arguably easier. Me too. It's called a touching ball, which is useful for me too. Just play away. He's played it. He's got behind the black like a fucking, that's like something a proper snooker player would do. Me one. Oh, just misses the brown and me two's back in the lead. Me too. Has to be careful not to pop the pink here. He gets away with it. Me one. Again, has to be careful not to pop the pink. Oh, the cue boy's going to try and pop this into the bottom. Yeah, it's a good try from me one, but oh, he got lucky, I think. Me too. Oh, he's trying to double. That was sneaky. But it, he may have just signed his own death warrant and me one pots. The brown takes the lead. Me one, can he get the blue? He has it a good go at it. Oh, it's two posts. Me one, 35. Me two, 32. This is one of the most exciting friends we've had for a while. The cue ball, the ball's beautifully placed for me two here. He's potted the blue, but he's gone in off. What a fucking idiot. He, he had it in his hand. He had the whole world in his hand. He had the whole wide world. In his hand, he had the whole world. In his hand, he had the whole world in his hand. And now me one has half the world in his hand. Oh, oh, was that skill or was that luck? You, I'll allow you at home to decide, but me one may have just won this frame. Oh no, he's missed the sitter of a pinky. He's hit it way too hard and everything's back on. 45 plays 32, 13 on the table it could be a draw me too could draw this which would be something well, he play, he's playing for the draw I hope I got my maths right that's six. Oh, he's missed the blue no he hasn't he's got the black just in the same way me too me one got the bit the other color he's got 13 I think he's done it oh no is it what was the score is it is it 45 all or is it 45 44 I need Andy McH to confirm. 45 all, oh, it's a draw. It's another tie. And how, it couldn't be more exciting, could it? It couldn't, and well done for me too for taking that chance. Not going for the snookers, not going for the mistake. Going for the draw. 
He knew he was on the ropes. He knew things were nearly over. We don't respot the back, you fucking idiot. No way. That's not how it works here on Me One vs Me Two Snooker. That may be it happen on two player snooker. But these two players so evenly matched, though I thought Me One was better, to be honest. They can't be separated. 80 all, 45 all. We'll have to come back next week to see who can take the lead. Back to Richard in the studio. Anything to add, commentator to? Nope. And here I am. It's now me, Rich Terring. What a frame. You, if the pe people who saw that live will be able to tell their grandchildren they were there. People who are watching it on, you on YouTube, that's not the same, is it? Not as good. Um, nowhere near as good. So, you know, think on. Uh, I want to see how York are doing. Oh, still losing one nil. Uh, let's talk to uh, Me One. Did he throw that away? Did he? Get, I don't know. I think maybe Me Two threw it away. What do you think, Me One? Well, I thought I'd got it. I thought I was there, but um, you know, I'll come back another. There's another day. I'll die another day, and I will. Um, well, I'll also play snooker another day, and uh, uh, yeah, that was for Lou De Prick. <clears throat> And uh can't be his real name. Um, disappointed. I think I should have won it. Congratulations to me too. Credit where credit's due. He, he came back and he drew it. So, you know. Well, that's a good summation there. Three minutes still. You have to be downstairs with your wife. I mean, I have to be down with my wife. Or you, me, one. Whichever one of us wants to go down. Me too. How are you feeling? I feel it's a, ma a match saved. Match saved rather. A loss saved than a win lost. So, you know, I'll be dreaming about that blue uh, that uh, the, uh, went in off on, potted it, went in off, gave the guy five points, that other fucker. And, uh, you know, that pink tantalisingly over the pocket. He, yeah, actually, me one had the easiest pink to win this whole thing, didn't he? When you look back on that, it's moments like that sliding doors moments that change the whole fate of this game. It could be 81-80 now, but instead it's 80. Or, and think how the ripple of... The butterfly effect, that's going to affect so much in this world. Probably create another 9-11. Well, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I've got to shoot. Um, always a pleasure. Sometimes a chore, as well as a pleasure. Um, but uh, couldn't be separated today. The teams, could, the players couldn't be separated. They are very even, um, usually, even though one of them was 10 frames ahead. The other one came back. And... Um, yeah, what a what a what a world we're living in at the moment. <sighs> so enjoy your snooker and playing yourself at snooker if you play yourself at snooker as well. Uh, have a great week from me and all the me's. Go fuck yourselves, you motherfucking fuck fucks. <laughs>